Hello everyone, Ivy B with Ivy B Creates. Um, I realized I hadn't done a video for YouTube in a long time about myself, things that I've done. Um, I have posted on um, YouTube Shorts and Instagram and Facebook, but I haven't done a finished object video, I don't know, for a while. Anyway, so with that said, I'll zip it on that. All right, so things that I have done since my last live. Hmm, there's a lot. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I crochet every single day. I'm always trying to find something that I have not done and do it because that's the only way your brain's going to grow. Don't get stuck in just making blankets. Don't get stuck in just making, and I'm using these loosely. That's what I'm saying. Shawls or anything. So let's start with the shawl because I had seen several content creators do the beauty pain shawl. It looked intimidating to me. And you would think I'm intimidated by anything crochet world. No, I'm not. But this, just this pattern, I would say, I don't know that I can do that. Well, yes, you can. You can do this. So I have my end here. So I just want to show you how big it is. So here is the front. I'm sorry about that. So here you go. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can stand up and show you without knocking my mannequin down. <laughs> I might have to edit that. <laughs> okay, here's the beauty pane. As you can see, I still have a little bit left on. I, I didn't have enough to do the, the last, another row. So I just left it on there and I'm think I'm debating whether to put another cake on it but there you go this is the rainbow rhapsody in the blues I love it so now that I've done this no I'm not scared to do it so I'm gonna put her put this butt up here Let her sit up there and look at us. She is so cute. All right. So, isn't she lovely? Reminds me of that song, isn't she lovely? <laughs> okay. So, the next thing, I'm not going to put these in order because, Lord, I don't remember half the stuff at all. Remember when I done them. So let's do a pattern, okay? If you all remember the first uh, cardigan that I did, this one is a uh, inset mosaic, mosaic. So yes, it fits me. It's not one that you will, you know, it doesn't close up. I didn't want it close up. I want it just to lay. So there you go. Turn it around, show you the back. This is my design with the diamonds. With the inset mosaic, you can make any design you want. It's pretty, it was pretty simple. So I did that. And then I had some other yarn that I wanted to know how this pattern would look if it was in white, okay? So I did not use this colorful yarn right here. I did use a lighter, a pastel, and I made this blanket. Well, lapgan blanket, whatever you want to call it. So here you go. Stand back and show you. Mm, let's see. There we go. 
So from this turquoise color to this turquoise is the same way all the way down, but I will show you. So it goes all the way down. I did a simple shell border on the side. It's just simple. And it's big enough to, it covers me up. Because, you know, I'm a big girl. It is uh, 56 by 46 is what it is. So yeah, I did that. Let me fold this up. I'm gonna put it on the back of my chair. All right. So what's next? I have so much stuff. Hmm. So as you know, we're doing the gnome. Um, uh, let's get into the amigurumi. I'll save one for last. So in February, this was a heart. Wait, <laughs> this was a heart, and I found a pattern where they turned it into a cat. And I think this is just lovely. Don't pay attention to my eyes. I'm not an expert at that. But I will work on it. So he is so adorable. This was the Chanel yarn. Yes, I did it all in Chanel from the Hobby Lobby. Okay. So we got him, her, I'm sorry. Then hmm, I did the Flamingo. Yes. I think this is adorable. I think this also could be a swan. Use the same pattern, but this has got legs on him. No, he does not stand up. I wish I had thought ahead of time and done something where he would stand up. And this is just using a Red Heart Super Saver in all of it. So I think he's ador she's adorable too. That's number two. Then I did uh, this little baby. This was the pattern out of the one that I got 1,000 patterns around Christmas time. And he's a bear. But the only reason why I chose this one is because he's got a little cheeky butt. It splits. Um, he's got a little pudgy butt there and a little pudge there. Kind of reminds me of mine. <laughs> So, that's the only reason why I did it. He, again, is done in Chanel. No, it is done in Burnett Velvet yarn. Very easy to do. Very simple pattern to follow. Very cute. Yes. Let me put him back up there. Him, her, whatever. So then, in the same pattern book, or I don't want to say pattern book because this was in um, those 1,000 patterns that I had bought. So my next one is Froggy. And let me tell you, eh, I say this all the time, one of his eyes is a little wonky. I'm sorry about that, but we'll fix him and make him look right. So... I think his, his little thing is off a little bit, but that's what makes uh, projects um, yours, I would say. Nobody would notice that this is not even until I say something to you about it. And then now you're going to look at it and you can see that it is not even, but it's okay. You would not notice it. He was a bit challenging. For me because I had never made feet or hands with the knobs on the end it was but once I did the first one it was simple after that yeah I got it I got it then so he's a little cutie he's supposed to sit like this this is how he's supposed to sit but for some reason, 
he doesn't sit like that. Maybe he does. Maybe I can get him to, you know, his legs are spread out. So, so I did him. So I probably will not get into everything that I've done because I've done so much and I don't know where everything is. So here is another one. This is what Stitching with Friends with Sunita and uh, Jeannie. This is one of their projects. It's a little one. He is done with the uh, uh, Chanel yarn and I use buttons on his eyes and my husband says he's crying in one eye which I is which. Uh, he's crying in this eye. It's like no it just the button is wrong. That's all you got to do is pull the button down and it looks right. <laughs> yeah. So he is a cutie too. She, he. Sorry about that. So, and then my grand finale one I think I'm going to share with you is I am in love with this one. Now, if you are uh, arachnophobia, turn away now because that's what it is. So, he does not look realistic. I am petrified of spiders, but as long as they're not jumping around, I'm happy. I, I, I can deal with spiders, but if they start jumping around, mm -mm, uh, I'm scared to death of them. So turn away now if you're scared of spiders because he's a cutie. Okay, so here is my spider. He is, it was, this was the simplest amigurumi pattern you could ever do. Simple. I think I made them in like two hours. So you make all your little uh, thing. Uh, I'm not sure that he's supposed to sit up or he's supposed to lay. I would like to have him sitting up like this where he's sitting on his, uh, can you see that? I want him to sit up like that. But let me tell you how you can get inspired by doing other projects when you when you make something. I just want to explain what I'm talking about. Okay, so while I was doing this and I put the feet on, the first thing that I saw was if you took these off, you got a crab. Can you see the crab? Now, not necessarily a crab has, you know, eight legs, but you get what I'm saying. Here's the body, here's the legs, you got a crab. So if you turn this around, that looks like the back end of a bee. So you could turn this head and this body into a bee or an ant. Ant has the same um, design. So there you go. One design, I've done seen three different patterns in it that I could possibly turn things around and make another project out of it. So my last one. All right. So the last one that I did, I just finished him um, night before last, waiting for um, some props to take pictures with. But here he is. How? adorable is he it's just like a little dog that's laying down I wish I had blue eyes because I would have put blue eyes instead of the black eyes or brown eyes instead of brown but how adorable is he I think he's super cute could be a little pillow for a baby you know anyway so that's what I have been up to and I'm sure there's other projects that's laying on this desk somewhere over the last two months that I have done like I said I crochet all the time so I thank you all for watching <laughs> Hit that thumbs up. Let me know you like my um, stuff that I'm putting out or you don't. Leave a comment. 
tell me what you want to see, what you want me to do. And my shirt is designed to be off the shoulder. But for some reason, I feel like when you're on a camera, you want to cover up. So, <laughs> so please forgive me if I'm tugging at my shirt because I feel a little naked when I do that. So, yes, that's what I've been up to. Thank you all for watching. Hey, hit that like button and leave a comment. I don't care if it's just to say hi. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, have a great day.